with our social media marketing. Um, now, before we get into uh, what I'm going to show you next, uh, of course, and I don't want to assume anything, but you should have a YouTube account. If you do not have a YouTube account, go over to YouTube.com right now and sign up. Um, we will be using YouTube and uh, video um, with our with our promotion as well. And since we're doing this virtually, um, you know, one of the questions that you know people had is like, well, how am I shoot video? You know, uh, me and my Colin of RoseInvestor.com, we actually created a product called Web 2.0 where we're going to great great detail on how to shoot video light in the whole nine. But if you're doing this virtually and you're dealing with different BPO agents, a lot of different people, how can you get video created and how can you get it distributed? Well, I'm going to share a great resource uh, with you for that. But first, come over here to YouTube.com. Um, you enter your email address, password, retype password, enter a username, postal code, date of birth, your gender, word verification, agree to the terms of service, and say create account. Now, YouTube uh, is of course the most popular video sharing site, but we're going to leverage YouTube and we're also going to leverage video, and I'm going to show you how you can get videos for your wholesale properties created for free. The um, only thing you're going to need are some pictures. Okay, and this is a, actually a service that I recently found out about not too long ago, um, and I use it. I'm using it, and I love it. It's great, and you guys will love it as well. And it will get you results. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. If you can get traffic to your properties, and you can get results and get them sold, then so so come over here, sign up, create you an account, uh, and we're going to be using. Uh, our YouTube account uh, later on uh, in in the uh, in the future modules. So go ahead and sign up for that right now. And now the next step in this process, uh, and we're basically starting to tie all this stuff together right now because the social marketing it does two things. It allows you to be able to network with other people all around the United States of America and internationally to connect with people whom you otherwise would not have been able to get in contact and to target, focus and target on individuals who are interested in what you have to offer already. And that's the great thing about the Internet. There are people who will raise their, raise their hand and say, hey, I'm interested in this. We know that they're spending their time there, um, which are the social networking sites like MySpace, like Facebook. So the thing is to leverage that be able to communicate with them um, on a massive scale, automate the process, as well as take our content that we're creating and putting on the social networks and also allow it to show up in the search engines. And I have a little trick for that that I'm going to share with you all very shortly. But again, let me tie all of this stuff together. So, our next social networking site is FriendFeed. FriendFeed.com. FriendFeed is one of my favorite sites. Um, it ranks very, very, very well. And basically what it does is it creates, if you would, a, a synergistic social networking platform for content from all your other social networking sites. What the heck does that mean, Sam? Very simply, you can take Twitter, you can take Facebook, you can take YouTube, and you can take whatever blogs you have, and you can throw it all on FriendFeed. <laughs> you can throw it all there, and any time any content is updated on any of those sites, on any of those social networking sites, it reflects right here, right here on FriendFeed. And it also creates a, 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 um, a RSS feed, and we'll get into that in a little bit, but also creates an RSS feed that you can distribute and syndicate. So now, if you have content on your Facebook account, you have content that you're, that you're using Twitter for, you have videos on YouTube, you can take that content, put it in one place, syndicate it throughout the Internet, 
okay? And also leverage the power of the feeds, the, friend, the RSS feed that friend feed gives you, hence the name friend feed because of the feed. You're able to take that, syndicate it across the internet, and have that rank, have your content rank in Google for very specific keywords, okay? And this is taught this before, um, and this is just something that um, that I learned, um, you know, learning from other internet marketers and also trying stuff. I'm always testing and trying different things to see that gets results. And I've tried this, I tested it, I know it works, and it gets results. So, without further ado, just to show you what my friend feed looks like, you can come to friendfeed.com forward slash uh, Sam Bell. And this is my friend feed. So you can see I have my Twitter posts, I have YouTube videos in here. I have a uh, blog post that I've made and it automatically, <laughs> automatically extracts uh, any uh, post that you make that have audio sometimes, it will extract it and turn it into a, a podcast, okay, so you see all of my videos here, all of um, all of uh, RSSDs that I have from uh, my social uh, networking site that I set up exclusively for uh, people that I'm looking to do business with here as well. So you see a bunch of different content from all these different platforms, all these different places right here. You can see these are um, these are the uh, widgets that I'm using in Frenzy. So uh, basically, if you were going to come here, uh, create an account, okay, just click there, and just put in your uh, email address name, nickname. I'm just going to throw all this stuff in. Let's see here. I'm going to have to use another, another email address here. Sam at virtualreoinvestment.com Sam uh, Bell third. Okay. So that name is available. So just click create account. And you can automatically invite your friends on Facebook as well as some of your best. Uh, uh, I suggest that you do this um, because you should have some friends, so invite them here uh, so that way you're creating a basic community on multiple different sites. I'm going to skip this step for now. Um, also, if you have a Gmail account or Yahoo, though, you can also import your people from your address book and invite them here as well. So I'm going to skip this step. And go ahead to next. So, so this is your your blank friend feed of what you have. So what you want to do is link all your accounts that you've already created. Okay. So you want to link your YouTube account. Just click here. Enter your YouTube username. Mine is Internet Real Estate One. We hit import YouTube. Great. So it has those videos. Uh, I'm going to import my Twitter account. Uh, let's see here, I think that's the one. I have all my Twitter updates. And well, let's see here. Also, now, the good thing about the blog, when you import the blog, anything that has an RSS feed will be considered a blog. So, your site that we created earlier, our, our social networking site that we created exclusively for our network of investors or our network of potential homeowners, has a feed. You see this right here? This is the universal symbol for a feed. And if you notice, I'm using uh, a web browser called Firefox. Now, if you're using Internet Explorer, uh, and I'll pull it up in it just so you can see the difference between the two. Uh, it does not always show. So you will need to, uh, let's go ahead and copy that out of there. Now I have the latest, uh, the latest version of Internet Explorer. So here you can see the feeds right here. Okay, and this is the link. Now, you can't read it, but you can still grab the link here, okay? And that's what you want right there. Now, 